hey you guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time watching it's your girl brenda joe and for today's video as you can tell from the title i will be showing you guys how i wash my makeup brushes so as you saw in the beginning the um, products that i use is the light olive oil i usually get it from target as well as the palm olive dish soap i prefer to use this just because it actually cleans the brushes better um, i've tried using dawn and it it actually takes too long to remove the soap so the palm olive is a way better choice and then i also love to use the zote soap after i use the palm olive and oil mix um, sometimes, depending on the brush that I'm washing, I don't use the mix as I, as you guys will see in the video and I only use the Zote soap. And whenever I wash my makeup brushes, I do like to wear gloves just because I don't want my hands to be wrinkly. So wearing gloves is actually way, way better. The first brush that I'm going to wash is my concealer brush. I use this to blend the concealer under my brows, sometimes under my eyes, but mostly under my brows. And I first wet the brush and then I dip it into the olive oil and dish soap mix. And this helps to break down the product since it was a cream product. And once I get that initial breakdown out of the brush, I will go in with my Zote soap about two more times and I make sure to wash the handle. And you also wanna make sure when you are doing this, you are using cold or lukewarm water. Do not use hot water just because it will mess up the bristles of the brushes and you do want your brushes to last long. Now for my beauty sponge, I am going to wring it under the water. Um, I don't need to completely wet it as long as I get enough of the water on there. And then I take my dish soap and apply it to the sponge. I don't see the point of using the oil mix just because the sponge is easier to wash with only the dish soap. And then I make sure to kind of like squeeze and rub but I'm not trying to rub hard so that way the sponge doesn't rip and break apart. And then I go into my Zote soap and the really and the main thing that I love with the Zote soap with using after the dish soap or even the oil mix soap is that once I use the Zote soap um, it helps to remove like the extra suds that is left behind. It kind of like dries the brush out but not too much. I did forget to mention that I am using a silicone brush sponge to clean my brushes. I don't always use it, but it also depends on how dirty my brushes are. But for the most part, I do always use it. The one that I'm using is from NYX, and I really love this one. I've tried so many. It's been the best one so far for me. Now for this brush, um, I believe this was my foundation brush or probably contour. It was a cream product brush. As you can see, I didn't actually wet it. I just dipped it into the mix because, yeah, so it was definitely my foundation brush because there was a lot of product buildup and I wanted to make sure that I was really getting deep into the brush. And as you can see, I'm not forcing myself to squeeze the brush. I'm just like, not pulling that's the right word i'm not pulling the brush but i am squeezing the product buildup out and then once i rinse off the excess soap i go into my zote soap about two to three times for the foundation brush to make sure that i am removing every single stain because i actually do not look like seeing the stains on my brushes it actually bothers me it makes me feel like my brushes are not clean and then i have to wait another day and clean the brushes over Thank you. 
When I am rinsing the brushes out, I prefer to actually be in the kitchen sink, but because we moved into this new house, um, the bathroom actually works pretty well so my back doesn't hurt. And since the sink is higher, the water is able to actually get into the bristle to remove the excess suds. And I continue to make sure I I don't know what to call this, like just run through the brush <laughs> um, to see if there's still any soap in the middle of it. And if I still see soap, I will continue to put it under the sink so that way it could be no soap in between the brushes because you don't want to use the brushes with soap still inside of them. Now this brush here is a powder brush that I used. I am going to wet it and then I'm going to use it with the Zote soap. There is no need to use it with the oil and dish soap mix just because there is not a lot of product buildup in it since it was used with powder and the stain will easily come out with just the Zote soap. And the way that I am washing this brush is actually how I would wash my eyeshadow brushes just because of course they don't have a lot of color but um, if I was to be using like blues, greens, or pinks, I would definitely mix them into the oil soap mix just because they stain a lot but I don't use color like that. So just for you guys, when you are washing your brushes, use the Zote soap for your eyeshadow brushes. This is another powder brush that I was using. I was using this for my face. And because it is more rounded and more fluffy, um, I do have to be careful how I wash the brush as well as how I wring it out. So I'm just going to wet the brush and place it into my Zote soap. Now, if I was to use this brush for more than two weeks, I would definitely have to mix it into the um, oil and dish soap mix but I didn't, I don't use my brushes for more than a week because then after that I immediately start washing my brushes because I don't want my skin to break out. And if you ever notice that your skin is breaking out, definitely see when you wash your brushes if it makes a difference because a lot of times people are not washing their tools and that's the main reason that they are breaking out. When you have to rinse out more fluffier brushes like this one, you do want to make sure that you're holding the bristles in between the ferrule and the brushes just so the water can fully get into the brush so it can remove the soap. And then you also want to make sure you are being careful to keep the shape of the brush when you wring it out. And I like to continuously put brushes this size under the water just to make sure that I'm getting all the soap out of the brushes. Now this is a natural hair brush and when it is white colored, um, it's, I don't, that didn't even sound right to say, but when the bristles are white, um, I actually like to dip them into the oil and soap mix just because it'll help to remove the stain even better because if you don't, the stain will just stay on the brush. brushes that are oddly shaped, um, I would recommend definitely using the silicone brush cleaner um, to make sure that you are removing all the stain from the brush because then you can maneuver it to the side and remove the stains on the side when you um, rub it back and forth on a flat side position. I 
I know I didn't show you guys the more smaller detailed brushes, but depending of course, if it is a cream product or a powder product brush, of course you would wash it the same way as you did the faces. You would have to be a little more detailed in washing them just because they're so much smaller. It'll take a little more work to clean them, but you still wanna be careful in how you're cleaning them. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I hope you guys learned something because I do get asked a lot how I wash my makeup brushes and this is exactly what I do. So if you haven't already done so, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload a new video, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys next time. And this is all the brushes cleaned and ready to use for next time. Bye.